I have a broken throttle cable and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Things you're gonna need blow torch, lead bar, file, electrical tape, and something for measuring. One more thing you're gonna need is an angle grinder. If you don't have one, it's like telling me you don't have a head. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this hole I have here. So it's around six millimeters. Now I have to find myself a round bar that's also around six mils. And here I have it. It's part of a 200 millimeter nail and it's six millimeters. Now I have to find a bolt. Now the next step in this process is drilling a hole through the bolt that is equal to this round bar. There we have it. Oh, it's warm. Now to form the end of the cable, I have to make an opening so the cable can go in it. There's no science in it, so I'm gonna just eyeball it. Making sure the cable fits. Yep. I've already preset the height. Now I'm gonna have to clean up the end of the cable. I'm just gonna wrap a piece of electric tape around it. And I'm gonna cut it. It's nice and clean now. And now I have to make it hairy again. I made it worse than it was before, but it will grab the end of it now better. So now I'm just gonna insert the cable like this. You can use flux on it on a cable only because if you use it on the bolt you will never get this thing out of here. It's always a good idea preheating the bolt. Now we're going to melt some lead in it. Now it has to drop to the bottom. Uh, I've used the part of welding wire for it just to push it down. Yeah, it went down by itself. I'm just gonna check now while it's hot, just like that. Looks solid, looks good. I might get some more lead in it. Right now, it looks like it's not penetrated enough. Now it has to cool down. Now to get this bugger out of here, I'm just gonna put the nail here. Just a little bit more out than it was before. I'm gonna put this on here and just gonna hammer it on the head of the bolt. This action will press this end out, it's pretty neat. And that's pretty much all. Nothing fancy about it. This is the end result. 
I'm gonna clean it up and it's all done. And it's ready for use or abuse. This solution will only be, in my opinion, good for small engine throttle cables because there's no twisting motion on this bit here. If you want to do clutch cables or something similar, then you would probably have to go with a steel cable lens or something like that. That's it.